Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to understand how to draw the cam profile when axis of the follower is offset from the axis of the cam shaft. So this is my question and question states that cam is to give the following motion to the knife edge follower. So my follower is of knife edge type and outstroke is 60 degree, dwell angle is 30 degree and return angle is again 60 degree and again we have a dwell for the rest of the movement of the follower that is 210 and stroke of the follower is 40 mm and minimum radius of the cam is 50 mm. The follower moves with uniform velocity. So when follower moves around the circumference of the cam, it will move according to the uniform velocity during both outstroke and return stroke. Draw the profile of the cam when axis of the follower is offset by 20 mm from the axis of the cam shaft. So let us suppose this is your cam and this is the axis. And from the center again make a small circle and connect above there. So here you have a follower. So axis of the follower and axis of the cam shaft are offset by 20 mm. So this is the question. So let's start the solution now. So first of all, you have to make the displacement diagram. And I already explained that how to make this displacement diagram in the previous video. You can check that video link in the description. Angles that is 60 degree. So this is a 30 degree and this is again 60 degree. So from A to G, your follower is rising. G to H, it is dwell and H to N, it is again returning. Now I will make the cam profile according to this displacement diagram. So to make cam profile, first of all, you have to make a circle of 50 mm. So radius of the cam is given, which is 50 mm. Okay, now draw the axis. So these are the axis of the cam. Now draw a circle, which is 20 mm. So the radius of this circle is 20 and radius of this circle is 50 mm. Now extend a small line from here. So this line represents the axis of the follower, which is offset by 20 mm from the axis of the cam. Now you are going to make the exactly outstroke angle, dwell angle and return angle over here. So first of all, you have to make the outstroke angle. So for outstroke angle, just connect the line from the center of the cam towards the knife edge point of the follower like this and make an angle which is 60 degree here. So this is a 60 and again dwell angle that is a 30 and again 60 that is a return angle. Okay. Now you have to divide this 60 angle which is outstroke and 60 angle which is return stroke into six equal parts as per the displacement diagram. So here is the division of this particular outstroke angle and here is the division of this particular return angle into six equal parts. Now just give the namings to it as per the displacement diagram. So this is zero. Now connect all these divisions towards the 20 mm circle like this. So from zero to this line, from one to the tangent to this circle. So again 2 to tangent to the circle. So all divisions must be tangent towards this circle like this. So in the same way in the return angle 0 dash to tangent of this circle 1 dash to tangent to the circle. So all divisions must be tangent to this circle which is 20 mm in radius. Now we are going to locate these alphabets on this circle. So 0 to A, there is no distance. So 0 and A are coinciding. In the same way, 1 to B, you have to measure this distance and come over here, 1 to B like this. So this is B point. In the same way, you have to measure 2 to C and come over here and extend this line 2 to C. In the same way, 3 to D, have to measure and extend this three line from to D. In the same way, all measurements you have to take in like this and mark over here. Now you are going to connect these alphabets just freehand.
so this is the cam profile and uh, you and this is also cam profile from here so this complete is the cam profile when your axis of the follower is offset by the 20 mm from the axis of the camshaft i hope you understand this question thank you everyone